Alright you guys, how's it going? So, uh, time to do another light review. I know it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these, but uh, Oxbeam was kind enough to send me some new products of theirs. Uh, these are the T1 series bulbs. Uh, they're starting to come out with some headlights now, so they're kind of... Sorry. <laughs> She's clean. She's really clean. Like, so, I'm about to go on vacation, so I... I'm trying to keep her clean while I'm gone for like three weeks. So, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, they're they're starting to kind of drift away from. I mean, they still make these, but they're kind of branching out a little bit uh, from the light bars and going into the into the uh, headlights as well, which I think is pretty cool. So I've used these particular bulbs now for about two and a half weeks. Uh, they've been in my Ranger. Uh, we're gonna obviously show you the installation of it uh, or them, I should say, and. Um, yeah, these things work pretty good. Uh, honestly, the installation was, uh, it took me a second to kind of figure it out because of my headlight retainer, uh, retainer rings that's on the Rangers, at least for the stock headlights. And, uh, but they put, I think someone at Oxbeam was really thinking or something, uh, or maybe I just kind of stumbled upon it. But either way, there's a little feature on these little lights here that absolutely made the installation 100% and like I had no because I've had HIDs and like projector beams uh, my old spider headlights that I used to have where I just put a gigantic o-ring in there and that's what held it in because they didn't think of what Oxbeam thought of so if that makes sense so we're gonna open it up and show you uh, all the contents of uh, the box everything else and then uh, we'll take you back outside I've got the door closed because it's freaking hot outside and uh, we will uh, show you the installation and uh, turn them on. So, in the box, it just flips open like this. And uh, normally it comes with two stickers, but uh, I felt it kind of fitting since I have a lot of Oxbeam products that they've supplied to me. I wanted to put one right there on my toolbox along with all my other stuff. So, but uh, yeah, so it comes with a sticker. Nice little big old Oxbeam sticker here. And then, uh, sorry for the grease, I've got dielectric grease that I put in there to make sure it was nice and watertight. But that's that's what that shiny stuff is. So uh, It's got a little box here for uh, the uh, directions and all that stuff. So, with the product uh, information, kind of shows you what you're, uh, what you're doing. And what else do we have here? We've got a little, uh, looks like a warranty card. So, yep. Just some useful little stuff in there, and that's that's all that's in that. Now to the meat and taters of this thing. So uh, I really like the packaging. This is pretty close to what it was like when I uh, received the package from Oxbeam. Uh, you know, some of it's kind of deformed here a little bit, but um, nothing too. So kind of got deformed here a little bit, but uh, that's no biggie because this foam held up pretty well. So right here in the front, you've got your bulbs. And uh, yeah, so these are, uh, I asked for, when they asked me what kind of bulbs I needed, I asked for uh, 9007s, like what the Ranger calls for. So you can see right there, little LED chips on both sides and a fairly gigantic cooling fan on the back. And like when you turn the headlights on, you can hear this thing. Now, as far as that really nifty little idea that I was talking about uh, to install the bulb, is right here the fact that you can remove this collar so it'll make a little bit more sense once we actually once I show you the installation but being able to take this off was a godsend so whoever came up with this at Oxbeam deserves a raise or something <laughs> because that's that's a really good thought right there uh, you know cuz like like I'll show you outside you can't fit the um, you can't fit the headlight retainer ring over this you know, you can't fit it over the back because you have the wire, and you can't fit it over this because it's just too wide. Because that's what the that's what goes inside the actual headlight housing. So I'm gonna try to get this, and you can see it's held on there with a little O-ring, and I'm sure you could throw some grease or something on there, like dielectric grease, to really hold that together. But once you actually put that headlight um, retainer ring on there, this thing is sealed because it's pressing up against this, and then it's forcing this into the headlight. So it's it's not gonna move. So there's that and you can see right here uh, it's got a little connector right here with uh, what is that three 
three little power inputs right there with a nice little o-ring and then uh, it's got a little threaded piece to keep everything together and there's I don't know if that's coming up on camera because this camera is terrible at focusing but there's a little arrow there and that little notch right there to make sure that you don't uh, accidentally put it somewhere where you're not supposed to and then uh, this is a little pigtail connector adapter whatever you want to call it uh, that goes to from the vehicle wire wire harness this will go into the driver as Oxbeam calls it uh, otherwise known as a ballast to uh, to kind of clean the power up before it gets to the LED bulb and uh, you know you get two of those per and then in here a little accessory box is the quote unquote drivers so we I'm just going to pull one of them out but here it is so, nice little magic box, as I like to call them. So, it's CAM Bus Decoder from EMC, whatever that is or stands for. So, uh, But, it is marked with Oxbeam on there with a nice little laser etching. So, uh, you've got a female end on one end, and then you've got a male connector on the other. So, uh, that's pretty much it. And, as you can see, it's... It's a fairly simple plug and play little thing and then uh, so I'm going to show you the Sylvania lights that I have uh, in my headlights right now and then uh, we'll, pull, we'll pull one of the headlights out to show you the installation and then kind of the before and after and then uh, we'll wrap it up. So, but first actually I'm going to go over the tech specs with you real quick. Alright, uh, so the power out of these lights, uh, it's going to be 70 watts total, uh, 35 watts per bulb. Uh, it's a six-piece Philip chip design, 7,000 lumens, so 3,500 lumens per bulb. Uh, you've got 9 through 32 volts that it can operate, uh, so you can run it on 12 or 24 volt uh, vehicles. Uh, 6,500K for the color temperature, IP68 water rated and dust sealed, 360 degree beam angle. Uh, it's made out of an aviation 6063 aluminum profile. And these things can operate uh, from uh, temperatures between negative 40 and 80 degrees Celsius, so pretty pretty wide temperature range. And the best part, I, I think, is 30,000 hours of la lifetime. So you know you're not really worrying about burning out your bulbs. I mean, this thing, these things will last for years. So, uh, and then this is just a little note from Oxbeam. It says engineering beam pattern design through light or throws light on road evenly at appropriate angle without foggy light. Uh, xenon white light reflect, reflects road paint signs better to show clearer road uh, sign situation. And uh, yeah, so there's they've got a lot of stuff on their website that sort of breaks it down about you know with, with everything that's going on with it. So uh, yeah, so if you're you know wanting to know more information about these, you can go check them out on their website. And uh, or you can look them up on Amazon because I know they sell out to Amazon a lot. But uh, so I'm gonna clean all this up here, and then we're gonna go out to the truck, and we're gonna go ahead and install them, and you know show you all that jazz and how they work. All right, so we're outside on the truck now, and it's blistering hot. Um, I don't even want to know what Arizona feels like right now, but that's just me. I'm gonna throw a heads up if it gets really windy because the weather out here is kind of weird. Uh, sorry, but uh, I can't control. I can't control the weather so uh, we've already got the headlight popped off right here as you can see it's moving nice and freely and so I'm gonna take this uh, connector off and rotate my little lock ring apart and this is that headlight retainer ring that I was talking about and uh, yeah it's your standard little Sylvania bulb 9007, as it's supposed to have. So uh, these aren't bad, but those, those LEDs definitely throw out a lot more light. And uh, I think I've been getting spoiled for the last couple weeks. But uh, anyway, so let's jump into it. So I just want to demonstrate this again here for you guys. So you know, say because initially these things were stuck on there pretty tight. Again, you can just use some grease or something to really uh, hold them on there, but you know, you can't put it on this way And You sure as hell can't get it on this way So I, I was sitting there when I first got the bulbs and I was getting ready to put them in to try them out I was like, are you kidding me? I can't even use these. I was about to like I was about to call Oxbeam or something and be like, hey, man 
got a defective product here. We need to go back to the drawing board or something. And because uh, this wouldn't just fit in there, so I was like, well, shit, sort of thing. So this is the genius behind uh, behind the little design here. So uh, yeah. All right. So like I was saying. Uh, I'm going to show you kind of the way that uh, I I learned how to put these in. So this is that piece that comes off right here. And I just and I stuck it down in there. Everything is hunky-dory. So then we have our, if you want to call it, naked light bulb. And uh, I'm going to try to do this one-handed, but forgive me for my poor camera work here. But uh, I'm trying. So that's what it's going to look like when you're installing it. As you just put the retainer ring around that. Okay, then you slide this in, and then that bulb is going to line up in there. Then you've got your retainer ring on there, well then you're like, well how does this stay in? So the genius behind this is you push down and you rotate until it stops like that, and it catches a little hook. And now the thing ain't going anywhere. So that's nice, and that thing is uh, staying on there now. Alright, so one camera fall later. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm all set to go now, so my camera's not going anywhere now. At least it shouldn't. Kind of wish I would have captured on video, but anyway. So now we're now we're ready to hook these bits up together. So, uh, as you can see, this one right here has threads on it, and uh, this one has threads on it. So this end goes to the headlight. This end goes to the, the driver, as they say. And again, there's these two little arrows. There's one right here. Again, I don't know if you can see it, but there's that line, and there's a little tiny little key in there if you want to call it that and you can just sort of move them around but then once you find it and that that squirting noise is the dielectric grease I have in there to keep everything waterproof and you just screw it together like that so it's all nice and I like the fact that it's braided too that at least this one is I get that I get that that makes me happy so then we take this end onto the headlight plug it in and screw it down and then you just take the entire assembly, the pigtail, and plug it into the factory connector. Just like that. And it's going to look something like this. So it's coming off the factory uh, harness right here, going down into the driver, and then uh, from there into the headlight. So uh, normally, if this was going to be like a 100% permanent thing, I would say, you know, get some 3M double tape or something and stick it down in here or something so it's not just hanging there. But uh, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to tuck all this stuff back there and put my headlight back together and show you guys a uh, comparison. If I could just get all that in there. And then uh, I'm going to get the headlight back in, so I need to put you guys back up here again. Hopefully it won't fall again. I think that's alright. So, I'm trying to put the headlight back in. There we go. And, uh, Normally I don't approve of this, but you know, drastic times call for drastic measures, and this is the retaining bit for my spider headlights, and I accidentally ordered the wrong headlight retainer, so this is what's holding my headlight together right now. <laughs> so, and uh, there you have it. So it's a nice clean install. Everything tucks out of the way, and um, I forget what brand it was. I honestly can't remember. Uh, but it was when I had my spider headlights and I tried to do, I think they were LED bulbs. But I remember specifically that the cooling fan back there, um, it wouldn't, it was fine on this side. But on the on the passenger side right there where the, where the snorkel is for the air intake, um, it wouldn't fit. So I had to return them. I can't remember the brand of them now. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and turn them on and show you guys a comparison here. <laughs> this clean interior I just detailed. So headlights are on. So this is before. A little halogen. Okay. Fills it all up. And I have it on high beams right now just to fill up the entire thing, but uh, 
yeah, that's what it's looking like. So it's a nice, I wouldn't say blue. Uh, it's almost, I don't want to say baby blue either, but it's kind of whitish too, which is nice. But uh, yeah, those are the headlights. And these are the bulbs on uh, low beam. So you can see that the top end right there is uh, dim, if you want to call it that. And uh, the upper half is your low beam. So I think these would work a lot better uh, in like a projector, but uh, you know, standard little reflector with the uh, old halogen lens, if you want to call it that, uh, works pretty good too. So. I think it accents it nicely and it's not overpowering like a HID so you can actually still see your turn signal because I've had that happen with uh, these lenses uh, with the HIDs before and just the light was so blinding that you couldn't see the turn signal so which is nice to see that uh, that's not the case here so I'm gonna turn it off and uh, that about wraps it up So yeah, that's the difference right there. I don't, know if you, I don't know how well you can see that on camera, but the right is the halogen, and the left is the LED. So you can see just how much wider that beam pattern is. So, pretty good. Hi guys. I look like shit. Hi guys. Bye guys. But, uh, yeah. That's the video, pretty much. So, um, I do want to announce, though, that, uh, Actually, you know what? Before I announce that, I want to look at something first. Because I've been noticing um, a steady a steady amount of uh, traffic on my channel here, thanks to you guys, which I appreciate it. Always gives me uh, the warm and fuzzies seeing, uh, seeing people commenting on my videos and everything. So I'm just going to I'm gonna take a little look-see here and see where we're at. So, my channel, let's see, so I'm at 4,358 subscribers and 2,523,884 2, views. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. So, uh, let's just say, I don't, I don't know, it seems kind of far to be 5,000, but, um, you know what, screw it. Uh, despite what we're at, you know, uh, as you can see, like I mentioned, I'm going on vacation for like three weeks, and so that's why I covered the linking up. So, when I come back from vacation, um, how's a giveaway sound? So, we'll do, we'll do a giveaway of this, uh, light bar here. I did a review on this a while ago. Uh, so we'll do, we'll do this as the main star here, uh, like the number one prize, and then we'll do these, uh, LED headlight bulbs is number two so uh, when I come back from uh, when I come back from vacation we'll do the usual you know comment within 24 hours maybe 48 hours this time and uh, you know whoever comments on it we'll put your we'll, we'll put your usernames or your YouTube name uh, down in a randomizer again and then I'll ship them out and you know the only real requirement is that uh, you just send me a picture of your uh, of your truck or your car or whatever and uh, just show me what you did with the lights, and that's that's enough for me. And hey, it gets Oxpeam's name out there, and it makes y'all happy, and uh, makes everyone happy. So uh, yeah, we'll do. I think that sounds good. You guys want some headlights and a light bar? So um, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm mentioning this now so that I'll you know because there's. <laughs> I love you guys, but there's like a hundred to two hundred people that like really tune in within like in, within like the first week of putting a video up. So I think that's why I'm gonna give it such long time this time. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to take these back out now that I'm done with them, and uh, I'm going to put them back in their box. They're going to sit nice and safe and sound in my garage while I'm away, and then when we come back, like I said, we'll we'll do a uh, we'll do another giveaway because I haven't done a giveaway in a good a good hot minute. So uh, we'll do that. But uh, so that's that's the Oxbeam T1 video. Hopefully they start sending me some more stuff here soon if they like the video and everything and the feedback that they got. But uh, if that's the case, then, uh, you know, we'll pump out some more videos. I got no problem doing them. Uh, and then, uh, you know, in the end, if you guys are getting 
getting products to help sponsor ox beam and all that stuff then uh, so be it but uh yeah i think i'm gonna quit rambling and i'm gonna put away all my stuff and get to editing and then get the video up so uh I'm going to have fun, and hopefully back in California I might run into a couple of you guys that are out and like see me in SoCal and whatnot, but uh, I'm not taking this. I'm, I'm not taking the old girl, so we're going to fly out there. But uh, yeah, so we'll be out there, and uh, be sure to look out on Instagram and all that stuff for some hints on, on the giveaway and all that jazz, and then uh, yeah, take it easy guys, and uh, thanks for watching.